What's up everybody, Grigor here again bringing you another video. Um, wearing my shirt today, Nature Boy Ric Flair. There's a reason for that. It was just his 70th birthday. For those of you who don't know who Ric Flair is, he is one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. Um, it was his 70th birthday. Now, this is a guy that, for those of you who don't know me, um, I grew up watching wrestling, I'm obsessed with it. It was literally my religion growing up. And this is the guy that was like the end all be all. Like everyone says Hulk Hogan. This is the guy I was most um, gravitated towards. This guy invented swagger before it even existed. Um, Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather, all those guys literally um, picked up their uh, trash talking and their uh, flashy, flashing money, uh, clothes, houses, all from this guy. Now this guy started it way back in the day in the 70s and um, he was the very first celebrity that um, I got a chance to meet. Now, uh, when I was a kid, again, I was obsessed with wrestling and me and my buddies who were also into wrestling, we went to a meet and greet with him at a Walmart. The excitement couldn't be any more higher than it was. I remember like it was yesterday. I was a little kid with this Mexican mustache and, and I got a chance to meet the guy and I got a picture with him and I framed it on my wall. Um, very special, very special moment. So I just wanted to send a quick 70th belated birthday for the man, the greatest of all time, Ric Flair. Now, on that note, on the wrestling aspect, I wanted to review Fighting With My Family. I saw Fighting With My Family and I gotta say, I was impressed. I was very impressed. I didn't think it was gonna be as good as it was. Now, when you go do a movie about anything, uh, people that are in that lifestyle who know that um, uh, subject very much, you're gonna, you gotta know that you're gonna be on a magnifying glass with those types of people. In this case, it was wrestling. Now, I grew up wrestling, I love wrestling, and um, I, I didn't think they were going to knock it out the park as far as uh, authenticity went, if it was really the way it was. And I got to say, I was wrong. They, they did their homework. The actress did fantastic. Now, Fighting With My Family, it's a story based on um, a, a real wrestler, this WWE uh, diva. Her name is Paige. Her ring name is Paige. And it's based on her family uh, from in England. They, she comes from a wrestling family and... Uh, they're very much into wrestling. She comes from this little town. Uh, nothing is expected to come out of that town. Uh, but uh, she gets sent off to WWE uh, NXT, which is like the fundamentals, just uh, like boot camp to become a wrestler for the WWE. It's like tryouts. And her and her brother go and become uh, uh, contestants on this uh, show and they choose her, they don't choose the brother. I don't wanna to give too much away, but um, you see in the trailers too, so. And she pretty much is the odd man out. She's, she's not tan, she doesn't have big boobs. She's, she doesn't fit the description of what WWE uh, female wrestlers look like. And um, she's the odd man out and she really uh, has to fight through all that adversity and um, to make it. In the WWE, uh, The Rock produced this. He does a few scenes in the movie, and I, I gotta say they did a very good job. They did a good job as far as the wrestling maneuvers went, and uh, how it is on becoming a wrestler, and the, a little bit of the background, not too much, but uh, enough to make you entertained uh, as a wrestling fan, uh, past wrestling fan. One thing I didn't agree with, granted, she does have a good story, Paige, but. Um, for those of you who don't know, she did tarnish the company a little bit by making a sex tape. She made a sex tape and some people would say, ah, that's her own body, she could do whatever she will. I totally agree with you people there. But the problem is she she brought the WWE belt in the videos too. Um, and I'm not gonna get into details on what the heck happened in the videos, but uh, that was very inappropriate and very uncalled for and in my opinion she really tarnished the WWE belt and the WWE name and all the people that made her pretty much in the company. Uh, 
in my if I if someone else did this, I feel like um, I don't know if she's why she's getting special privileges, but. Uh, Back in the day when I used to watch wrestling, I felt like if you did something like this, not only would you have gotten in trouble for it, they might have even just fired you right there on the spot for doing something like this. But then again, they praised her, they they made a movie about her. Uh, so uh, there was other wrestlers that are much, much better than her technically in the cage, I mean in the ring, but uh, they didn't have probably a story like Paige's that came up like this. So that aside, uh, that controversial sex tape, all that controversy aside, it is a good movie. I do recommend watching it. There's some good jokes in it. One of my favorite comedians, Vince Vaughn's in it, and he does sprinkle that good comedic uh, fun in the movie. Uh, not just Vince, the whole family has a good comedic side to them. Uh, I watched the documentary this movie's based on. It's like a 40, 45 minute documentary. It's on YouTube, check it out. Um, about this wrestler page and they did a good job on uh, keeping it authentic and true to the story. Uh, a couple of things they didn't keep true to the story was how timid and shy she was when she made her debut and how she was on the mic. She wasn't like that. She was very naturally gifted on the mic and just uh, grabbing the presence and attention of the um, the fans. So she did it. She, I mean she, she grew up in the ring, you know, so she already had a little experiment experience coming into the uh, the ring. So, highly recommend watching that. That aside, it was very gr very good, very funny, uh, just a fun film overall. Moving aside, I will tell you guys this: um, I'm starting a, a vlog. Um, I'm going to be beginning intermittent fasting. So I'm going to start intermittent fasting just for me. Uh, again, I'm not a specialist. I'm, I can't stress that enough. I'm not an expert. But um, I did two weeks straight of intermittent fasting a couple months ago and I had good results as far as losing weight. And that is what I'm going to be doing this for. I am going to be doing this to lose weight. Um, it's So for those of you who don't know what intermittent fasting is, it's... I am going to be uh, fasting throughout the day, usually 20 hours, 23 hours fasting. It's a long fast. And during that time period, I'm going to have nothing but water. Some say you can have coffee, black coffee, but um, I'm going to stay uh, very strict on myself and just have nothing but water during that time. And then when you have one or two hour windows throughout the day to eat, you want to have big portion meals. You want to have big portion meals and... Um, you want to make sure you get all your nutrients during that big portion meal. For those of you who don't know, who don't know more about this, um, I suggest uh, YouTubing it. There's a lot of videos out there of people who are famous for doing this stuff. And there's doctors who talk about it too. They say it's very beneficial for you um, to have one meal a day if you can. Or just one or two meals a day and just fast for 16 to 18 hours for good uh, weight loss. Just make sure when you have that one big meal, you want to make sure you get your nutrients. You want to get some greens in there. You want to get your protein. Just cut down on the carbs, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm cutting down on the carbs and sugar. So soda is out of the question. I'm not having soda. I'm going to have uh, some greens. Usually I like to have a half of avocado and cucumber. Um, again, I'm not going to be extremely strict on myself. I'm going to do my best to dodge all the junk food. But I just want to show you guys out there who want to lose weight, uh, have tried different things like I have, different kinds of diets, and it hasn't worked, uh, or it hasn't um, hasn't been the one the right diet for you, and you end up binging and you end up raiding the fridge. So, again, I did this for two weeks straight, and I had good benefits from it. Um, I thought I was going to be weak in the gym. I, uh, I thought I was going to faint. I thought I was going to raid the fridge if I thought I was going to get too hungry. And that's not the case. Um, that's not what I experienced. So I'm gonna do it for a full month, the whole month of March. Now I did uh, promise some of my friends uh, that I was gonna meet up with them for some different types of foods for this weekend for um, before I decided to do this fasting. So I'm gonna get a little late start on the month, probably March 2nd, March 3rd, but I want you guys to click that subscribe button. I want you to follow along and try to do it yourself. It may not work for you, it may not be for you. Some people like to eat all day, small portions of meals, and that's fine. If that works for you, go ahead and do that. I can't, again, I'm not a doctor, so this is something that works for me. This is something that 
um, throughout the day, I don't have time to sometimes eat um, many portion, uh, many meals throughout the day, uh, smaller portions. So um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it for a full month, and uh, I'll let you guys know throughout the weeks um, what I'm eating uh, and how I'm working out. Usually, I get on the treadmill three, four times a week, long distance running. Well, long distance for me, but again, click that subscribe button, follow along, guys, and. Um, I'll let you guys know how the results are at the end of the month. And then if it works out good and if I'm in the groove and I like this process, I have plans to do it all the way into the month uh, of May. So I have a vacation coming in May. Definitely during the vacation, all bets are off. I'm eating anything and everything I can find. I'm gonna be traveling to Rhode Island, which I'm originally from. So anything fun happens along uh, throughout the month. I will uh, keep a vlog video on YouTube. So. Make sure to click that subscribe button, subscribe button, guys, and follow along. Thank you. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you guys next week. Take care, everybody.